Hey, welcome back to the corner YouTube. Everybody appreciate you taking time, come through, click on the video, check out our react series kind of thing that we're doing. We're gonna look at another faker video, top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards most likely to serve time in federal prison. <laughs> uh, feel free, hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description below. Think about becoming a channel member. You'll have access to videos before everybody else and all proceeds end up going back to the channel anyway that's a good way to show your support uh but yeah we're about to get into it creator page also video is going to be down in the description if you enjoy make sure that you swing by his page take a look leave a like subscribe all that good stuff as well and we are about to get into it also down in the comments let me know if you agree with his list or if you would take cards out and add certain other cards to it Pardon me, Jesus. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. Good afternoon, everybody. In this week's video, we are going to be discussing the top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards that, if their behaviors and personalities were mapped one-to-one -one into our world, would be looking at doing cold, hard time in federal prison. Before we begin, I'd like to clarify that by federal, I do, of course, mean federal in the United States justice system, as I am. So, it'd be like the RCMP up here in Canada am obviously offensively American. And while I'm not sure what kind of maple syrup related charges of grand larceny exist up north, I can say for certain that it is an illegitimate justice system by matter of definition alone. Kicking off this list at the 10th spot, we have Long Girsu, the Orchest Orchestrator. What does this card do? Two effect monsters include Orchest Monster. This link card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Damn. You can target two of your banished machine monsters shuffle them into the deck damn that's pretty big too then you can send one link monster your opponent controls to the graveyard it's crazy this card this card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect you can only use this effect of this card once per turn so at least you wouldn't be able to attack with the card that turn but that's a huge effect it's said that the more meteoric the rise the more catastrophic the fall and nobody taught this man how to deal with loss Far from his lofty status as Ningirsu, the World Chalice Warrior, a powerful and noble guardian of his friends, the loss of his sister Ib sent the young man on a dark path. Getting into the card's lores as well, which is pretty dope. Stealing the corpse of his sister, building a gigantic tower in the middle of nowhere to hide his creepy experiments from the rest of the world, attempting to transfer the soul of his sister into a robot body, constructing an army of Chuck E. Cheese banned knockoffs, and performing transhumanistic surgery on himself like something straight out of a Jonathan Colton song. So I'm not gonna lie, I actually really do enjoy the time that like Konami put into Yu-Gi-Oh! to have certain backstories and lore with uh, certain cards and archetypes. Longirsu would get the feds knocking on the door of orchestrated Babel as soon as his web history was searched, facing sure. charges of desecrating a corpse, building a tower violating OSHA regulations, and practicing medicine <laughs> without a license. Our emo Link 3 is looking at a stiff 15 to 20 year sentence, minimum. At least he'll have time to grieve. At number nine, we have the Rescue Rabbit. Public service workers are- The Rescue Rabbit, eh? Cannot be special summon from the deck. You can banish this face up card. You control special summon two level four lower normal monsters with the same name from your deck. Destroy them during the end phase. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. So by the time you end up getting the two up, you're able to link summon. Are meant to be the best and brightest among us, or at least that's what we pretend. But what happens when our public service leaders get caught embezzling hundreds of thousands of dollars in disaster relief money to fuel a crippling <laughs> carrot addiction he's desperately attempting to hide from his family and the public? The crime, that's what. Look, we can all have sympathy for a rabbit's struggles, and it doesn't diminish the heroic work that he's done in the past. But Rescue Rabbit had a duty to both the public and his team, and he abdicated his responsibility on both fronts, and abused public trust. Facing charges of misappropriation of federal funds and falsely applying for grants, Rabbit gets five years minimum security and a 10 year freeze on his license to practice. Going live at number eight, we have the twins Kissakill and Leela, both their- Yes, both these man pajamas. Send them both to jail. I hate going up against these cards. The, <laughs> the live twins, man. Live twins will get you every time. 
live and evil identities are just, I mean, literally bursting at the seams with crime. Tax evaders and moral degenerates by day, actual thieves and do-batters by night. I'm not entirely sure if being an internet personality is considered a federal crime, but I definitely hope so. On that note, do I technically count as a VTuber? Maybe I'm a little out of the lingo, but that's a horrifying thought that crossed my mind recently. You would be much better off creating a list of the crimes that these two scallywags haven't committed. And unfortunately, while the Yu-Gi-Oh world is rife with infernal beasts and spellcasters bent on world domination, unreported income is going to get you 10 times out of 10. Sorry, girls. <laughs> Failure to report income, tax evasion, being an influencer, theft, breaking and entering, and general naughtiness land these two 15 years in the clink, with parole after three years for good behavior. You guys know how it goes. At number seven, we have Jizikiru, the star-destroying kaiju. A fa okay, one, it's a kaiju. So, like, straight to jail. Straight to jail. Uh, you can switch some of this card from your hand to your opponent's field in a tap position by tributing a monster they control. If your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can switch some of this card from your hand in the tap position. You can only control one kaiju monster when a, when a card or effect is activated that targets one card and no other cards. Quick effect. You can remove three kaiju counters from anywhere on the field. Uh, negate the effect and if you do you can destroy one card on the field so he's pretty much setting you up so that you're able to play kaijus from your hand to your opponent's side of the Band field. Fan favorite light machine monster that synergizes well with a handful of legacy archetypes and can always be relied upon to remove a problem boss monster from the opponent's field. What nice. we fail to remember when we look upon our beloved little 300 foot tall mechanical monster is the <laughs> untold havoc he's responsible for in the very foreground of his card artwork alone. Obviously, our special little engine of destruction doesn't mean anything by it and is just very excited to be with people. But destruction of property, disruption of critical infrastructure, reckless endangerment, and worst Stop of all, noise ordinance violations aren't intent crimes. And if the helicopter in the top left is any indication, the feds are already hot on his heels. For 25 years, or until one of his brethren breaks the prison walls down. Redoering into the number six spot is the absolute legend himself, Time Thief Redoer. Now, if you're like me, a true blue expert Yu-Gi-Oh fans who don't play into the imperm column in the year of our lord 2024, you definitely knew that Time Thieves were an archetype and not just this guy. I call it... Uh, once per turn during the standby phase, you can attack the top card of your opponent's deck to this card as material... Oh, attach it as material to this card. Quick effect, you can detach up to three different types of materials from this card, then apply the following effects. So... He already takes two, you grab that one, has three, you're able to use the effect right away, depending on what was detached. If it was a monster, banish this card until the end phase. If it was a spell, draw a card and trap, place one face up card your opponent controls on the top of the deck. You can only use the effects of this card once per turn. Pankratop Syndrome. The Time Thieves are a bunch of naughty boys and girls who steal time, and since time is money, boom, IRS again. These guys just can't keep their hands off of anything fun. It's all, all about the, the IRS, IRS are walking around IRS with giant slated. targets on their backs, but Redoer in particular because he just won't stop Redoering. Even after the feds clearly bugged his jeep as a warning sign, the dude just keeps Redoering. And you know what they say, Redoer once, shame on you. Redoer twice, you're going to jail. Infinity <laughs> years to make up for all the time he's stolen. Settling squarely in the middle of our list at number five is Sam. Sangan, the monster. Sangan, man. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. But you cannot activate cards or the effect of cards uh, with that name for the rest of this turn. You can only use the effects of this card once per turn. Who I think has gotten into more canonical legal trouble than any other card in the game. Absent mindedness and bad luck got this guy into a pickle with a gang of pot smugglers. And the DEA takes that nonsense seriously. While the feds were aware of Sangan's role as basically the fall guy for the whole operation, Sangan refused a cushy plea deal that would have gotten him probation at the cost of ratting on the rest of the Forbidden Gang. Sangan ain't no snitch. Unfortunately, his loyalty caught him 25 in the clink. Ain't everybody with you when you're behind bars. Free my homie Sangan. Our last card before the medalists at number <laughs> free the homie. Number four is Spiral Double Agent. Quite possibly spiral the second agent. 
If you have a spiral card on the field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field and defense position. But it cannot be attributed nor be used as material for a fusion synchro XZ or a link summon. Uh, then both players reveal the top card of their deck. You can only use the effects of this card once per turn. All spiral monsters on the field gain 500 attack. Also, uh, spiral super agent on the field can attack directly. 1400 attack, 600 defense. Least inconspicuous name on our list. I'm not entirely sure that this guy is aware that treason, like actual treason, not just being a dick, is still punishable by public hanging. So unless his name is some reference to being twice as good at his job as Super Agent, or he's really good about ending every sentence with in Minecraft, I don't foresee a very long prison <laughs> sentence for Double Agent at all, hung in the courtyard at high noon. Our bronze medalist in crime at number three is number 13, the embodiment of crime. Uh, the embodiment of crime. The name itself. The name itself. Okay, that's way too small. I can't even see that. So if you guys want, you know, hold on. We'll wait for the bar to go down. If it goes down, it's not going down. Okay, if you want, just take a, take a second pause and you guys can read it. I can't see that. A president of the Crackdown Naming Committee and big, big crime enthusiast. If you went to Target and while you were checking out, you saw a guy in the next checkout lane dressed head to toe in a Spider-Man costume, buying a set of Spider-Man sheets and arguing with the cashier because he dead named him with the name on his ID instead of calling him Peter Parker, you'd correctly assume that that guy is a big Avengers fan. Likewise, if a guy is going to walk around proclaiming himself the embodiment of crime, you should probably believe him. If it walks like a duck, overlays like a duck, and attaches one overlay unit to force all of your opponent's monsters to attack position and baits attacks like a duck, it's Damn. a criminal. The only thing keeping this guy from the higher spots is the fact that I'm a little suspicious of anybody who needs to proclaim just how big a criminal they are. Really? The embodiment of crime? Right, and I'm the Lord of D. 25 to life, <laughs> but the judge is going to roll his eyes the entire time. Bringing home the silver and time spent behind bars in federal prison is Abyss Actor Super Producer. You just take Super Producer. Uh, during the main phase, quick fact, you target a face-up card, you control, destroy it, then you can apply one of these effects. Place one Abyss Playhouse uh, from your deck face-up in your field zone. Place one Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster from your deck in the in your Pendulum Zone. You can only use the effects of these once per turn. Of one look at the guy, turn. and you know he's been knee deep in shady stuff since he was a sassy rookie. Use of unpaid labor in his performances, blatant copyright infringement in his plays, <laughs> accusations of mistreatment by crews and actors, the years of smug, coastal, jack wagons and suits getting away with this kind of stuff are over. And Super Producer is going to take the first hit. 30 years, but we all know it's going to be cushy. 30 for him. years. All right. Damn, number one, the gold medalist in violation of the law, Ojama Black. If you'd. Ojama Black, a vanilla monster, right? <laughs> what? What? We, we gotta hear the reasoning behind this. This is gonna be jokes. Like, you can use this. Well, there's actually a whole lore story about the Ojamas and stuff like that, too. So, like, he's probably gonna get into that. Uh, I gotta find that video. We should check that out. The gold medalist in violation of the law, Ojama Black. If you'd like, you can use this spot as a stand in for all of the Ojamas, but I think Black is clearly the most egregious violator. Public indecency, lewd and lascivious behavior. If there was a single Yu Gi Oh card whose entire existence demanded being deemed a crime, it's this guy. Made all the worse by how unbelievably proud of it all he is. I mean, look at him. Indecent exposure made flesh. Do everybody a favor, throw him in the back of a van as painfully as possible and bury him underneath the jail. Ojama Black gets life, but not like his life, everybody's life. He doesn't get to get out until everyone else is dead, and he's the last one left, so nobody has to deal with Damn. him ever again. Well, that was silly. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a bit of a lighter video to celebrate a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Yo, congratulations, congratulations on a thousand subscribers to the homie here. Dearly, and hope that you continue to watch as I navigate learning this whole content creation thing. If you guys have any recommendations for future videos that are a little more in keeping with the channel's style, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to explore the deeper elements of game theory and its unique application to our wonderful, ridiculous card game. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and remember to wash behind your ears. Yo, that was pretty dope. That was pretty sick. I, I enjoyed that video. That was awesome. And 
I, I somewhat agree with his list. There's probably a couple cars that I would throw under the jail overall, right? There's a couple cars, but more more so like trap spell cards, not really mon well, Lord of D can definitely get locked up, summoning two blue eyes white dragons. Like, come on, get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, feel free, hit him up, take a look if you enjoyed the video and whatever. Leave a like, subscribe over on his channel if that's something that you're into. And if you're enjoying these uh, react videos, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff over here as well. Uh, think about becoming a member of the channel to support the channel. Uh, hit up the Discord, so on and so forth. And yeah, no, man. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourself and each other. And if you have any other cars that you would switch up, and that you would throw under the jail, feel free to leave a comment underneath. All right, take it easy, guys. Peace.